Have you ever thought about how prostate cancer starts? Men get prostate cancer a lot, especially as they get older. Millions of men around the world have this disease. The goal of this video is to explain how prostate cancer starts and grows, from the basic structure of the prostate gland to, to the complicated molecular changes that cause the disease. Understanding this process of growth is important for finding problems early and managing them well. We can get a better sense of how this dangerous condition works by looking into how prostate cells change and divide. These changes and the main things that cause prostate cancer to start are talked about in this video. What is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer starts in the gland cells of the prostate, which is a small gland in men that looks like a walnut and makes seminal fluid. Most cases of prostate cancer are caused by adenocarcinoma cells, which are what this disease mostly affects. The gland cells that line the prostate gland and make fluid are where adenocarcinomas start to grow. Figuring out what these cells do can help you understand how prostate cancer can affect your body. This kind of cancer tends to grow slowly, which is why understanding where it comes from and how it grows is so important for finding it early and treating it effectively. Understanding Prostate Cancer From Origin to Metastasy Origin of prostate cancer starts in the prostate gland, which is in front of the rectum and below the bladder. It is part of a man's reproductive system. Changes in Cells Cancer starts when cells in the prostate start to grow too fast for control. These are usually gland cells, or adenocarcinomas, which are what cause most cases of prostate cancer. Changes in genes. Cancer can start when the DNA of prostate cells gets mutated. People may be born with these changes or get them over the course of their lives. Environmental factors. Your diet, lifestyle, and the chemicals you are exposed to can all raise your chance of getting prostate cancer. Progression. At first, the abnormal cells may only form a growth in the prostate. Over time, this can get worse and turn into prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia, PIN, which can then turn into invasive cancer. Spread. If prostate cancer isn't found early, it can metastasize or spread to other parts of the body through the bloodstream and lymphatic system or to organs nearby. Let's discuss the stages of prostate cancer development. Prostate cancer starts with changes in the DNA of prostate cells. These changes are often caused by genetics and environmental factors like food, lifestyle, and exposure to toxins. These mutations can cause abnormal cells to grow and lead to the development of prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia, WPN, a condition in which cells change inside the prostate that may be a sign of prostate cancer. These cells may turn into localized cancer, which is only found in the prostate gland over time. If nothing is done, localized cancer can turn into metastatic cancer, which means it leaves the prostate and moves to other parts of the body, making treatment and prognosis much harder. This development shows how important it is to find problems early and keep an eye on them. Early detection is very important for men if they have any issues related to the prostate. If you want to recognize its stages, then you must watch our video. Risk factors of prostate cancer. Genetic, lifestyle, and environmental factors all play a big role in the growth of prostate cancer. The main risk factor is age. A man's chances of getting prostate cancer rise significantly with age, especially if he is over 50. Family background is also very important. Men whose father or brother has had prostate cancer are twice as likely to get it themselves, which suggests a genetic tendency. Lifestyle decisions and eating habits also affect risk. For example, a high-fat diet and a lack of physical activity may make cancer more likely to develop. Studies have also shown that smoking and drinking too much alcohol may also raise the chance. Knowing these things can help you figure out your own risk factors, make decisions about how to monitor your prostate's health, and come up with ways to keep it healthy. Symptoms of prostate cancer In its early stages, prostate cancer often doesn't show any specific signs. This is why regular screenings are so important for finding it early. But as the disease gets worse, there may be a number of signs that you need to pay attention to. One of the most common signs is having trouble urinating, which can show up as a weak or delayed urine flow the need to go to the bathroom more often, especially at night. Other important signs are having blood in your pee or sperm and having pain in your pelvis that won't go away. These signs don't always mean you have prostate cancer because they can be signs of other health problems as well. If you are facing prostate issue and do not know its signs properly, then you do not need to worry about this. Our complete video is available on this topic. Diagnosis and screening. Prostate-specific antigen, PSA tests, and digital rectal exams, DRE, are the main ways that prostate cancer is diagnosed. PSA tests check how much PSA is in the blood. Higher amounts can mean that someone has prostate cancer. A doctor feels the prostate for problems during a DRE. If these tests show signs of cancer, 
biopsies and more advanced imaging methods such as MRIs are used to prove the diagnosis and find out how bad the disease is. This makes sure that prostate cancer is correctly found and staged. It is very important to know how prostate cancer grows so that it can be found and treated quickly. This video talks about where prostate cancer starts and how it spreads from the genetic and environmental factors that affect its start to the prostate gland itself. We'll also talk about the signs that you should be worried about and how important it is to get regular screenings like PSA tests and digital rectal exams to find the disease early. Please subscribe, share, and comment if you find this information useful. This will help get the word out about prostate cancer.